Hi Paul, hi Penny, Larry Cole reading for Ludi, trip to Bountiful. Thanks for this consideration. Rosella asked me if I realized that it had been 15 years this August since we got married. I hadn't realized it, did you? That's right, Jesse May, it'll be 15 years this August. I hate to think of time going that fast. I never will forget that night I came home and told Rosella you proposed. I thought you were the handsomest man alive. Hmm. And I thought you were the prettiest girl. Did you, Ludy? I guess I did have my good features. People used to tell me I looked like a cross between Joan Crawford and Clara Bow. And I thought you were the smartest man in the world. I still do. But the thing that burns me up is you don't let other people know it. You remember Sue Carroll in the movies? Sure. Oh, I loved her. She was my ideal when I was growing up. She was always so cute and whatever she did. I always tried to act like her, be good company and a sport. Duke Carroll's married to Alan Ladd now. They got a bunch of kids. Well, they can afford them. They got servants and I don't know what all. It's Jesse May, I've just got to start making some more money. I'm thinking about asking for a raise. <laughs> I'm entitled to it. I've been there six months now. I haven't been laid or sick once. I've got to do it. I've got to ask for a raise tomorrow. I'm going to walk into Mr. Douglas's office first thing in the morning and I'm just going to take the bull by the horns and I'm going to say, Mr. Douglas, I've got to have a raise starting as of now. We can't live on what you pay us. We've got my mother's pension check to help us out and if we didn't have that, I don't know what we'd do. Well, I would. I don't understand it, Jesse May. I try not to be bitter. I try not to... Oh, I don't know. All I know is a man works eight years for a company. He saves a little money. He gets sick and he has to spend two years in bed watching his savings all go and then start all over again with a new company. Of course, the doctor tells me I shouldn't worry about it. He tells me I've got to take things like they come every day. And that's what I try to do, but... How can you help worrying when you end up every month holding your breath to see if you're going to make ends meet? You can't help being nervous. A lot of people get nervous. What's this book? What's well, mine? I picked it up from the drugstore coming home from the office. How to become an executive. What's that about? It tells you how to prepare yourself for an executive position. Looks like there might be some helpful things in it. You know who you look like standing there, Ludie? Who? My papa. Do I? Just like him. Of course, I've been noticing as you grow older, you look more and more like him. My papa was a good looking man. Was he? You've seen his pictures, don't you think so? Oh, I don't remember. It's been so long since I looked at his picture. Well, he was always considered a very nice looking man. Do you remember my papa at all, son? No, ma'am, not too well. I was only 10 when he died, Mama. I remember the day he died. I heard about it as I was coming home from school. Lee Weems told me, and I thought he was joking. I called him a liar. I remember the day he took me in the front room there. Day of the funeral. I remember the coffin and people sitting in the room. Old man Joe Weems took me up on his knee and told me that Grandpapa was the best friend he had and his life was a real example for me to follow. I remember Grandma sitting by the coffin crying. She made me promise that when I had a son of my own, I'd name it after Grandpapa. I would have too, I've never forgotten that promise. Well, I never had a son or a daughter. Billy Davis told me his wife is expecting her fourth child. They have two girls and a boy now. Billy Davidson doesn't make much more than I do, and they certainly seem to get along. Own their own home, they have a car. Does 
you aren't good to hear and tell about how well they all get along. Everybody has a job. Even the youngest child, she's only three. She puts the napkins around the table at meal times. That's her job. Billy said to me, Ludy, I don't know how I keep going without my kids. He said, I don't understand what keeps you going, Ludy. What do you work for? I said, well, Billy, I haven't made any kind of life for you at all. Either one of you, and I try so hard. I try so hard. Well, Mama, I lied to you. I do remember. I remember so much. This house, the life here. The night you woke me up and took me for a walk and when the moon was full and I cried because I was afraid that you comforted me. Mama, I want to stop remembering. It doesn't do any good to remember. 